Yes. <clears throat> I think I'm obsessed with death. I think uh, many people who know my work will agree of, of that. Um, and it's a topic that always comes back. So that's, um, that will probably be a part of this, this creation as well. Um, one of the major kind of starting points for the piece was, was the element of staging or theatricality. Like the very theater itself, the fact that you can see something in front of your eyes that is uh, fake, that is not real, that is not true. And then you make the decision to believe. So we started looking at the dioramas, like traditional diorama, and how it's a constructed world that is uh, clearly kind of painted and, uh, and a, a theatrical version of reality, but that still gives you a, a suction and a perspective. And uh, this idea of truth and false and uh, reality versus fiction is also something that I, I work with a lot in my work. Um, the element of staging, how we kind of present ourselves for other people like like right now the things I choose to tell you and what I don't is kind of a, an edited version of, of a truth it's all true things but it's a it's a version of of the truth which is then therefore equally fiction it's a story um, and this I'm very fascinated uh, by so I like to kind of start with reality and then kind of twist it a little bit to open up other spaces. I'm very fascinated by TV, you know, like I, I kind of grew up with uh, TV that's six feet under and, and programs like that that would take kind of reality and open it up to, to subvert or to, or to create another point of view. Working with dance and theater together is uh, very exciting and uh, challenging and complicated. Uh, I always ask myself the question, I try to ask myself the question, uh, if we're dancing, why do we need to talk? If we're speaking, why do we need to move? So it is definitely a, a challenge to move from one to another. But I think when it's uh, at its most successful, they complement each other. I love the way words create, kind of open up uh, windows or doors in our heads into other other worlds so that when you see movements uh, so if I'm, if I'm moving and I say the word um, snow to you it will mean something to you and it will mean something else to me but it will open up to like an avalanche of references that you will then um, try to understand the movement through so I like that I like to give the audience kind of hooks as a ways into the abstract. I also love how movements can um, express things that the words cannot, things that has to do with uh, uh, situation, uh, subtext. Yeah, it's kind of a wider range to express. Uh, and, but I'm always looking for something very human whether it's text or it's movement. I'm always looking for something that talks about the human condition. So if it's movement language, I look for not just abstract and form, but something that tells us about uh, the person inside the form. And the words that, uh, that are chosen f comes from the same. Uh, and how they are expressed also comes from the same. I'm kind of trying to strip away and let uh, the performers be of themselves so that you see something that you recognize on stage which of course the most difficult acting you can ask people to be themselves working with paris opera ballet is of course a big deal it's a it's like being in dialogue with a legend um, i'm in a room now where a lot of great things have been created there's a history there, and that makes me very happy, and that makes me very calm. <laughs>